Welcome back. Two schools and at least 15 school buses were damaged or destroyed in the flood. Traffic anchor Rebecca Schleicher spoke with the school transportation director about what it's going to take for schools to reopen in Humphreys County. And Rebecca, he has his own harrowing survival story. We're hearing so many of these from so many different people, Amy, but transportation director Jim Byram rushed to Waverly Junior High to try to play sandbags and prep the floodgates there. He ended up having to take refuge on the roof alongside the superintendent and others who came to help. They're used to some minor flooding at the elementary and junior high schools, which sit so close to Trace Creek, but were not prepared for the wall of water, which they said went from ankle to more than waist deep in just five to seven minutes. The district is now asking for help from state and education officials after weathering three floods in 11 years at the school sites of of course, none as bad as this one. They shudder to think what would have happened if the water rushed in during school hours. As a transportation director, there was no way I could have got buses back to those schools or got those children out of those buildings uh, quick enough uh, if it would have been 24 hours earlier. And that's one of the main concerns. He says he does not know if class will resume next week with so many roads and bridges destroyed in the area, but at least the buses won't be a problem when they do. Nearby districts have offered to lend him any spare buses they have, so their 1600 kids who take that bus every day will have a way to get there. And Rebecca, is there any way people can help the school district? I know when you see images like this, Amy, everyone's wondering that. He says they do have teams working to clear and clean the schools right now, but the classrooms are destroyed, and that's years of teaching supplies and materials just gone. They're working on some sort of website or contact for people who want to donate supplies. I'm going to stay in touch with them and let you know when they have that available, but guys, they just got internet back up yesterday when I was talking to them, so it's baby steps out there. Right now, taking a look from Sky 5. They are flying over Waverly Elementary and Junior High School where you can see all that mud left behind after the waters rushed through. And this is the rooftop where people were taking refuge. They grabbed a ladder and quickly got to the top of that. Even it was overtaking one of the rescue vehicles that was pulling up to try to help them at the time. I mean, just unbelievable. Their families didn't know where they were for five hours when the telephone lines went down and there was no way to communicate either. Right now, major roads remain closed in the Waverly area. Highway 70 between McEwen and Waverly. There are checkpoints there to allow some people and emergency responders through, but that's it. State Route 230 also remains closed, and this could be the case for a while. 